Hi everyone, Art Journal page, and I'm going to start with some sprays and some <clears throat> silicone trivets uh, that I just find and use like a stencil. Now, most of my spray bottles are made from gel food coloring with water. I just put some drops of gel food coloring, add water and test it if it's vibrant enough good if not i will just add more gel food coloring some of the sprays are made with water and textile dye the powder and textile dyes and some are bought and, but really um, i just have a few that are a uh, bought otherwise it's all from gel food coloring and the textile dyes so and you can also if you have the brucho powders or the magicals you can also use them put a little bit very little bit of powder with water and you will have a spray so i just want to play so i'm putting down these two trivets and i'm starting with yellow and I'm just gonna spray it like this and whatever goes goes it doesn't have to be precise or anything we are just starting some kind of background now you can uh, leave it be or you can take another uh, paper like printer paper and go over like so And you will get another interesting thing and another painty paper to use later in uh, something else. And you cleaned the trivet, <laughs> by the way. So let's move it. And which one do I want? Let's take this. Putting them like that, and I'm going with, this is a neon a grain. So once again, uh, this trivet is not silicone, it's just plastic, but it's great as a mask or a stencil, whatever you want to call it. I'm just playing. This is not planned or anything. Again, I'm taking a, the printer paper and I'm just observing what I've got. Here we go. There's more. I'm taking another printer paper. Okay. Let's see. I think I'll take these two again. I'm just layering. And what color do I want now? And let's go with some kind of blue. I'm not going all over the page. Here we go. So, once again, Look at that. <laughs> One more painty paper. Okay. I really, really like this uh, background. I'm leaving it as is. For now, I'm not spraying anymore. That's what I mean. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let this dry a little bit. It's moist and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I went through my stamp stash and picked up all kinds of circles. 
so I can play with the background and add more details. And most of them are from AliExpress. I ordered them a long time ago. <laughs> That's the best that I <laughs> remember about them. I have them a lot of time. And I've picked some Distress Ink. I've got some Crushed Olive, Broken China, and Spiced Marmalade. And again, just going to play around. I don't know why I picked the orange, but <laughs> there you go. So, just putting down some of the ink. And I'm going to just stamp randomly on the page. As I said, just going along with all the circles that I've got in the back. And adding detail to my background. Let's see. Didn't bother to take this uh, step from the acetate. Good enough. Let's see. I don't know if the crushed olive will be uh, strong enough to be seen on this page. If not, I will just change it to another color. Oh yeah. Good enough. Just the right shade so it will add interest without being too much. Because this, all this is just part of the background. I'm taking it off the acrylic block so I can stamp here. Yeah. So moving on to uh, the spiced marmalade. This is more a spiral than a circle and I think it adds interest to the page now that it's not in the same colors that I have in the back. Could also have picked some magenta or or red, just something to break a little bit from what I got in the back. Yeah, I think this is it. I I'm just cleaning my stamp here because I don't care it's the back of another page. Let's see. I want to see if I'm using I've got fossilized amber. I want to see if I can add it to the page. I want something a little bit more but subtle in the back and I hope that the yellow will do it. Yeah. So, just adding more without overwhelming the background. Yeah. Okay. Finished with this. For my focal point, I've picked one of my stencils, but you can pick whatever you want. And I'm not going to stencil. I'm going to use it as a guide. I really like this. And I think I'm going to use, well, no, <laughs> I, I thought about using black, but I don't want to now. I am thinking about which kind, which marker can I use that will be thin, maybe some gel a pen. These are a, all from a, the cheap store. Let's see. Don't know if it will be visible enough on the page. Let's see. So as I said, I'm just going to use the stencil as a guide. Not even bothering to make it too precise. Let's see. Okay. As, as a start, it's okay. So I'm just going to do the leaves. And I'm 
thinking of doodling inside the leaves. I don't want a solid color on the inside, that's why I'm not stenciling. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have used <laughs> a simple felt uh, pen marker, whatever. Doesn't have to be uh, anything special, just ha to have a fine tip for this. Okay, so as you can see, you can, or can't see, you can hardly notice what is going on here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to some, as I said, felt pens. And let's see. I'm going to start. This has two tips. And one is brush and one is very fine point. So, I'm going to start with the brush. So, I will have something... Uh, a little bit more noticeable on the page and I am going to do a stem in a minute I just want to see first all the leaves and what I'm doing <laughs> the markers is, are well was it Aliexpress or Amazon wow can't remember right now Maybe Amazon. Almost done. Okay, let's see. Just making my stem a little bit more wide towards the bottom. Okay, so doodling, <laughs> what do I want to do and do I want to do it with this, do I want to pick another color, I'm going with another color, what the heck, it's going to be fun, so I'm picking a dark a blue and whatever. Just doing circles. Not planned, as I said. Just having fun. All kinds of circles. All, all sizes. Okay, I'm thinking this is going to be <laughs> a quite a colorful. I'm going now with the dark purple. Whatever will be, will be. And let's see. Let's do swirly things. Why? Because I can. <laughs> because I have a, a swirly stamp in the back and I don't want everything to be the same
yeah. So uh, now I'm just going to continue uh, doing all this uh, <laughs> doodling on the inside and I'm going to switch colors. This is going to be a crazy uh, leaf plant, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Let's do, um, I don't know, some red, whatever. What now? What doodle do I want here? Scallops, like, I don't know what to call it. Scales, like a fish. <laughs> So, you see what I'm doing, and that's what I'm going to continue doing with all the leaves. I think that I'll do at least two leaves with the same color and pattern, not uh, each one in different. So now if I have this, maybe I will do another one here and this one another one here and just play with it. So I'm going to continue just doodling and I'll be back. I'm back. So finished doodling. Now uh, I'm just going to do uh, darken the edges just to frame in everything in. And this is, as you can see, a super duper simple page to do. I'm uh, using now Pine Needle Distress Ink and I'm using a makeup brush. And I'm just going to go like this all around the page. Just picked a soft brush, that's it. You can also uh, use a makeup sponge to do the same thing. Just wanted it soft around the edges and that's it. I can already can remove this. Just Let's see, just a little bit more. Eh, good enough. And basically, this is it. That's my page. As I said, very, very simple. And having fun. Mostly with things that you already have, like silicone trivets and... You can, circles you can find anywhere. Felt pens are very accessible. The only things that I've used and is not, is a craft or art material is the distress inks. But otherwise, you can go wild. <laughs> so that's it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.